Hello friends. Welcome to Logical Hindu YouTube channel. You won't find any information on dinosaurs or other similar species in any of the ancient western texts. But if you go through the ancient Indian literary texts, you might be able to extract some information on dinosaurs and other species similar to dinosaurs. While going through the verses on embryology in Bhagavad Purana, there is a verse that possibly refers to species of dinosaurs. After researching a bit, you will find more details on dinosaurs from other ancient Indian scriptures too. You might have heard of a Sanskrit word Makara. Makara was used to refer to a giant amphibian dragon that lived under sea. When you read of a monstrous dragon living beneath sea, then the first creature to pop up in your mind will be a crocodile, but the description of Makara does not suggest a crocodile. Description and ancient paintings of Makara across Asian countries like Cambodia, Burma, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan, Vietnam and China presents a literally different picture. You may be surprised to know that the description of Makara closely resembles dinosaurs. Makara is depicted as the half aquatic, half animal, aggressive monster having head of a crocodile, tail of a peacock, small horns like that of a goat, body of an antelope and paws of a panther. Makara guarding the temple at Halipedu Karnataka, India Makara as the vehicle of God and Goddesses in scriptures, Makara is known as the vehicle of sacred goddess Ganga, the guardian of the longest river of India. Furthermore, Makara is also described as the vehicle of deity Varuna, the sea god. Makara is also the emblem of lustful desires and hence is depicted on the flag known as Makara Dhwaja of Kamadev, deity of sex and passion. In Hindu astrology, Makara is one of the 12 zodiac signs known as Capricorn in English. Scripture says deity Varuna as the only fearless one who controls the Makara and can defeat the Makara. This description clearly implies that Makara is not crocodile since crocodile can be defeated by even a common well-trained man. According to Mahabharata, Makara and Tibingila were the two powerful sea creatures that lived very deep within the sea along with similar huge creatures. There are many other texts like Susruta Samhita, Bhagavad Purana and Bhagavad Gita that depicts Makara and Timingila as the most dreadful amphibian species. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna used Makara to represent entire aquatic species, thus referring Makara as the king of all aquatic species. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Makaras and Timingila are explicitly stated as dangerous predators that attacked sage Markandeya. Most of the verses in Indian scriptures are in poetical form and so naturally the author or poet used allegories to represent different situations, objects, scenarios, etc. Considering this point, if we apply this information to modern scientific findings, we can easily come to the conclusion that Makara referred to a species of dinosaurs called Ambulocetus, the most dangerous predator of Eocene period, or Pylosaur, the most dangerous predator of Cretaceous periods. The first fossil of Pylosaur, estimated to be 155 million years old, was found in Dorset, England in 2003. Famous paleontologist Richard Forrest in an interview to BBC said, this is an iconic specimen, one of the most exciting we have seen in years. It was probably the most fearsome predator that ever lived. 
Standing in front of the skull, you can imagine this enormous beast staring straight back at you, fixing you with its binocular vision and attacking. This creature, bulky body, was powered in waters by four paddle-like limbs that has never been found and may not have fossilized. On Ambulocetus, reports describe it as an amphibian creature that existed 60 million years ago. Fossil of Ambulocetus found in Pakistan is said to be of a time when the landmass of Indian subcontinent was slowly drifting from Africa toward the continental shift of Asia. Now your mind may be wobbling up with many questions like Makara and Thimingilas are fine. But if Indian ancient scriptures really have description about dinosaurs, then why not the details of other huge creatures that roamed on earth? Well, the answer to the specific question is that ancient scriptures do refer to many other mammoth creatures. However, the information is limited since such texts were composed of spiritual reasons and not as an entertaining books or stories on dinosaurs. You may be aware that Indian scriptures are full of stories on fights between gods and demons. In such battles, both demons and gods are shown as seated on their specific vehicle, mostly a deadly predator. Some fought on the backs of Thimingilas, which can devo huge whales, some on the backs of Sarabhas and some on buffalo, rhinoceroses, cows, bulls, gavaya and arunas. Others fought on the backs of jackals, rats, krakalasa, rabbits, human beings, goats, black deer, swans and boars. In this way, mounted on animals of the water, land and sky, including animals with deformed bodies, both armies faced each other and went forward. Some of the creatures in the above verse are not identifiable. Nobody knows the English or Hindi equivalent of animals like Bhasa, Krakalasa, Gavaya, Sarabhas, Arunas and Vikrata Vigraha. All of them are said to be aggressive predators. These may be the names of extinct species of dinosaurs or some other extinct species. Furthermore, in Sanskrit, Vikrata Vigraha means animals with distorted body Krakalsa means big lizard or chameleon and Gavaya means wild bull. So when the opponent is riding on an elephant, rhinoceros or wild buffalo, one would definitely opt for a big lizard like dinosaurs as his vehicle, isn't it? You may say that one example is not enough. So let us take one more. This time from Mahabharata. In Mahabharata, there is a mention of dinosaurs in symbolic form of dangerous serpents. There is a description of species that throws fire and species that can kill a live tree with one just bite. Exact story is as follows. Parikshit, son of Arjuna, was cursed by a sage to die of snake bite. After his death, son of Parikshit, Janamejaya, decided to take vengeance against the whole serpent dynasty. He organized a grand sacrifice to destroy all serpents dwelling on earth. Many serpents died in this yagya and just before the entire serpent race was about to wipe out, Janamejaya was stopped by a learned sage named Astika, son of Naga mother and Brahmin father. The mass sacrifice that started on the banks of river Arvind at Bardhan ended all the enmity between the Pandavas and Nagas. Masonry tank built by Janamejaya to mark this event can still be seen at Parikshit Kund at Manipuri district in Parham. In Ramayana, there is a mention of an event where King Vibhishana of Lanka confronted mighty creatures that were troubling mankind on earth. Further, sage Valmiki mentions giant flying horses guarding the city of Lanka. For me, giant horses certainly sounds like dinosaurs, 
especially the ones that has the distinctive characteristic of flying in the air. Ramayana is said to be 18 million year old story. So it is quite possible that dinosaurs or similar other creatures ruled earth during those times. According to Bhagavad Purana, combination of yugas called as manvantaras repeat indefinitely where each manvantaras is characterized by its own set of plants and animals. In total, Veda states 84 lakh different species of animals. Some of the animals and plants of previous manvantaras become extinct in next manvantaras and then are revived again after series of manvantaras. Additionally, Bhagavad Purana states that extinct species of previous manvantaras are replaced by new species in next manvantaras. And this process of replacement is known as transmigration of souls. Since only a small portion of this vast earth has been excavated and examined, many of the species including human species are still unknown to us. But the series of findings has forced all the scientists to refute Darwin concept of evolution, thus paving the path of Vedic concept of soul transmigration, the concept that cannot be proved scientifically. I hope you will like this video. Please subscribe our channel 